My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, you could have ate healthy, you Eat chose not to, do you really need to go on vacation, you need to buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany on this Monday afternoon. Uh, today's a um, German holiday and so I'm off. I saw that Miss Amber just um, uploaded, um, but as announced, I'm not reacting to it because I'm not interested in her having whole videos of um, showing products into the camera where most of them she most likely bought with her own money and uh, pretends it's uh, from... Uh, you know, it's gifts from uh, subscribers. And so I'm just gonna let this run in the background. Um, I didn't wanna let you start your new week without a video from me though. And so um, I wanted to share with you what I've watched uh, this weekend. And that is from Mr. Snowflake's uh, second channel called Under the Hood. And what he's uh, been doing is, uh, you know, in the latest videos is um, sit there and read uh, Facebook posts from Amberlynn Reed from the year 2011. And um, I gotta tell you guys, I could have seen it coming, but it did disappoint me a little bit. Not Mr. Snowflake. I'm, I'm a fan and I love his voice and he's a piece of eye candy. Let's be real, right? But... Uh, when he read those posts, it all of a sudden hit me that what I've been trying to make myself believe that Amberlynn Reed used to be a good human being and then uh, bad things happen and then um, she changed, that illusion has been kind of shattered. Because uh, from the post that Mr. Snowflake's been reading to his audience, you can tell that Amber has been a very negative person and a very entitled person. And, um, you know, expecting gifts, expecting people um, to let her live with them. Um, and even though uh, they show their hospitality and let her live in their house, um, she doesn't understand why they don't just um, leave the bathroom, for example, when she has to use the bathroom and stuff like that. And so the overall message is just that she's been entitled, mean and self-centered and egotistical even 12 years back, looking at it from 2023. And that is uh, ridiculous. And it makes me respect her even less. And so I'm thinking it's only appropriate that um, even though I had announced that I wouldn't react to uh, merchandise haul videos, that I'm not reacting to her today. I'm, I'm really disappointed. I'm disgusted by her personality. And uh, now there's proof that even before she ever uploaded her first video on YouTube, um, she was a mean-spirited person. When she posted those Facebook um, statuses, she was already 20 years old. And instead of um, getting her lazy ass up and getting herself a job that would make it possible for her to have her own home where she doesn't have to complain about who's using the bathroom when or who is more inconsiderate, um, she just wanted to um, uh, complain and not get a job and complain about not being any food there not being any food in the house um she was uh, talking badly about the people that she lived with uh, apparently 
uh, Cassidy's um, parents, I don't know, or maybe Cassidy's mother and her uh, spouse. And um, the entitlement on that girl, it just really burns me. I do not understand. If you don't like a situation, then you change it. You don't continue to complain about it. But it seems like um, it's been a red line going through her life that she is lazy. She doesn't want to do what's necessary um, to change a situation for the better. And she just wants to blame everybody around herself. I also didn't like how she uh, kept making negative remarks in her uh, Facebook statuses instead of uh, actively changing the relationships in real life with people. I hate cowards like that. Um, and so, yeah, my uh, image of her has um, worsened. Uh, since I l listened to Mr. Snowflake read those status messages, I gotta be uh, honest, I would have never gone to Facebook and, uh, you know, searched for Amberlynn Reed and, and read uh, through these statuses, but uh, Mr. Snowflake puts it in a format that it's uh, easier to digest, even though I hope he's gonna make sure that uh, his, uh, his British English won't get messed up by the lack of uh, grammar that um, Amber shows in these status messages. I'm just flat out disgusted and uh, part of the reason is that uh, for whatever reason I've been driven to improve my personality since my late teenage years. Like I've always been a depressed person but I always you know, I was always consciously living my life, or for the most part, and I was trying to improve my person, you know, try, try to improve certain things about myself. And uh, when I see people that never do anything to improve anything about themselves and always look for um, people to blame or situations to blame or experience in the past to uh, blame their current horrific behavior on it makes me sick to my stomach and if on top of it all and it, again I would like to mention I'm not a fat shamer I'm obese myself and uh, but but actively working on myself and so when I say I see people that have physically let themselves go for over a decade now or two decades already and uh, still don't do anything to improve themselves, then it just disgusts me. Um, I don't want to see her fail. I wish she would get the strength up and uh, the self-awareness to actually and actively change her life for the better. But um, looking at her history, it's not going to happen. I think, and this is not a prediction, this is just a feeling I'm having, um, I think she's going to go like Life by Chen did, um, only that Life by Chen wasn't arrogant, and um, but uh, equally as delusional as Amberlynn Reed is. And so um, I'm not even watching Amber's videos anymore in the hopes that anything is going to change for the better, but um, to see her uh, uh, slip up because she's going to slip up and then her YouTube um, existence uh, will come to an end and that would be the best thing that could happen to her because um, it was YouTube and uh, the YouTube income Amber had um, that made it possible for her to overeat so often that she managed to gain weight um, from, I can't even remember the weight she started at, was it 369? Uh, or something like that and she's now well over 500 pounds if not uh, close to 600 and again the number doesn't make any difference uh, she could be 800 or 400 and uh, you know lying about it uh, the fact is she's way too big over the years she shared with us problems she's had mentally emotionally and physically due to her weight and um, I think it's high time for her to realize that she needs to change things unless she's planning on going out this way and that is my guess and um, so I'm just gonna continue watching 
I will not be reacting to her uh, merchandise hauls because that is uh, like filler content I have nothing to say about. I think uh, if I had to say anything um, about her doing P.O. box hauls or Amazon hauls, um, I think most of the things she's showing she's bought herself and had sent to herself and um, I think she's entitled. Uh, the cake uh, gate kind of was very obvious proof for that and um, I think she should stop e-begging and uh, finally take responsibility for um, you know providing herself with an income that she can be proud of and not uh, having an income because she keeps lying and and trolling and clickbaiting people and uh, hoping that they're still gonna watch her videos even though she disappoints them over and over again and so um, yeah this is all I have to say let me know what you guys think uh, have a great start into the new week and I'll see you in my next one bye Thank you.